Hello, everyone. This is Data Engineer One, and welcome back to another episode of Writing Data Pipelines with Kedro. Today, we're going to be writing a custom data set that uses the Python subprocess module to call the program YouTube-DL to fetch YouTube videos and metadata for us. And remember, if you're enjoying these data pipeline videos that I've been putting out, make sure to butt that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding so you know when I'm pipelining. OK, let's go ahead and clear this. And let's get started with ASCII Cinema. And then we're going to go ahead and attach to our Tmux session. OK, great. So here, we already have a folder set up for us, Kedro YouTube DL. This is a Kedro project where we're going to be doing our new data set. So our new data set is going to live inside of Kedro YouTube DL, inside of io.py. And this is how we're going to write it. First, we're going to start off by importing our Kedro, Kedro.io. We're going to grab the abstract data set from Kedro IO. And we're going to use that in our YouTube data set as its super class. For this, we're going to be grabbing our operating system, our subprocess, and our YAML. If you're unfamiliar with subprocess, basically it allows you to run command line arguments within a Python script. And so here, we're going to be running those command line arguments within our YouTube data set. So first, we're going to have a file path. This is going to be the file path where we're going to save the metadata for the video. And then we're going to have a data directory. Inside of here, this is where we're going to pass in the data. So we're going to save our YouTube caption data inside of this data directory. Now, when we call save, we're actually going to pass the YouTube URL directly to the save function. Um, this makes it a little bit easier later on for when we are going to update and change our data set in another video. For now, we're just going to pass in the URL as the part of the save. And then we're going to abstract away the subprocess call. So the subprocess.check output is a little bit of a verbose command. What you need to do is you need to put your commands inside of these lists. Uh, and then you have to make sure that the lists are, are sound and, and uh, consistent amongst all of the calls. And then you also have to make sure that your current working directory is the directory that you want, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of things that go into this uh, check output call. And so what we're going to do instead is we're just going to abstract that all away and put that inside of a function. And so this is going to be a YDL function. Um, the way that it's going to work is we're going to actually, instead of putting the arguments inside of the check output, we're just going to pass the command line arguments that we wish to use to this currying function. And this is a currying function because, as you can see here, the URL from the save parameter is going directly into the function itself. So we're currying that URL. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check if the video that we want to download has any subtitles. Um, this can be done by just doing a list of subs and checking whether or not the has no subtitles line is inside of that output. We're also going to grab the title. from the video, the file name, the video ID. And then we want to grab the description. Unfortunately for us, the description is saved as a separate file due to just how YouTube DL is implemented. But thankfully, the file name is predictable, and it's just the same as the uh, file name that we're passing in here with file name format with a different extension. So this file name format is built into YouTube DL. You can take a look at their documentation if you'd like to know more. OK, so now we have the video ID, that description. And we just want to make sure that if 
that path already exists, then we're going to just remove that path. All right, and if we have subti uh, subtitles, then in order to download them, we're going to use write sub as the command. And then we're also going to use write description to get the description. Otherwise, if there are no subs, we can just use write auto sub, which will grab the automatically generated subtitles. Now that that download is done, we can check inside of that folder for the description file, which we will be reading and then saving to description. Finally, to the actual file path, we're going to be writing our YAML dump of our metadata. ID, title, title, file name, file name, file path, os.path.join. Since we've saved it inside of the data directory, we have to make sure that the full name is explicitly laid out. And then the description, which is the one that we got up here. Okay, then we close this and then pass in the file name, pointer, and we'll close that. And now we're dumping our metadata to that file path. Finally, we'll go ahead and load that file path when we want to load this data set and return the yaml.load of the file pointer using this yaml.fullloader function. We also have a describe. We're just going to keep it very simple where we're going to return the file path to the description. Okay, so that's it. This is our YouTube dataset downloader. Great. So now let's go ahead and add it to the catalog. And we're going to add it as YouTube video with the type being Kedro YouTube DL dot IO YouTube data set. And the file path just being right here instead of data raw YouTube video. So that's where it's going to download not only our metadata, but the video itself. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the pipeline. So let's go ahead and add this uh, Kedro data set to the pipeline. And how are we going to do that? Well, first, you need to make a node. The node that we're going to be making is a simple identity function, which takes in an x. It's going to print that x just for our clarity and then return the x. The node itself is going to be that identity function. And it's going to take a parameter with the YouTube URL, as well as YouTube video as the output. And then just to make sure that our load function works, we're going to call that one more time with YouTube video being the input and the output being none. OK, so what should happen is that the YouTube video URL is going to first go into the data set. It'll get saved into the YouTube video node, and then we should be able to see the printout. So the parameters are set inside of the parameters.yaml file. We're going to go ahead and set that URL here. And I know just the place to find a video for us to download. We can go to our data engineer one channel, paste that in. And there it is. So let's go ahead and see if we can see a visualization of the pipeline. And then let's go ahead and give it a run as well. Oh, but it looks like there's an invalid syntax. Let's go ahead and fix that before we get started. Kedro IO. And that's on line 57. And that's because YAML file loader has an extra parentheses. So let's go ahead and try to rerun. And then try to do a Kedro viz. Uh, and so actually, I also misspelled one more thing here. But thankfully, 
at the very least, we can uh, fix that. So let's go ahead and fix that really quickly. Makes durs should be make dir. Let's try to do it one more time. And then there it goes. And so now let's also do a Kedro visualization of this pipeline. And while that visualization is loading up, you can see it here. We're running through. We are first getting the YouTube URL at the very top there, passing it through the identity function and printing it out, as you can see in this uh, YouTube watch printout right here. And then we're also printing out our uh, metadata dictionary from the YouTube dataset downloader. And that's it. It's a very, very simple pipeline, very simple data set. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that button, sub that scribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. Okay. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.